Let A be 654,000 million and B be 0 0.0000232. Write both these numbers in standard form A times 10 to the K, where A is a number between 1 and 10 and K is an integer. Using your answers for part A and your GDC, calculate each of the following. A times B, A divided by B, B divided by A. Give your answers in standard form and correct to three significant figures. So in the first case, we've got A is 6540000000. So first of all, we tried to make 654 just a number between 1 and 10. So that would be 6.54. We'll make that number a number between 1 and 10. And then what we knew, we, how many times did I have to move the decimal place in order to get to 6.54? So that's times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this will be 6.54, 10 to the 8. Decimal point has been moved to the left 8 places. Okay, so this number is now in this form, standard form. And this is what we do. All right, now let's look at the next one. 0 0.000232. In order to make this a number between 1 and 10, we need to write it as 2.32 times, times 10. And this time, how, where, how far have we moved the decimal point to the right? So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But because we've moved it this way, we need to say that it is minus 5. The decimal point moved to the right five places. But it's like multiplying by 1 over 10,000. That's what this minus 5 means. So you need to have a little bit of understanding of negative indices before doing this. Right, now in order to do the calculations for the correct answer, 2.32, number between 1 and 10, times 10 and Z minus 5 is an integer. So in order to do this, we've got A times B, which is 6540000 times 0 0.0000232. If we write those in their standard form, that's 6.54 times 10 to the 8 times 2.32 times 10 to the minus 5. Now we are supposed to do this on our GDC, so let's go to our GDC. Now, before we can do this on our GDC, uh, so, we, it, it, so we're going to force it to give the answers in GDC form, so we don't have to do the conversion ourselves. If we press number 5, which is for settings, and then go to number 2, which is uh, document settings, again you can just press number 2, and you see exponent format, you need to change it from normal to scientific. And because we're going to do three calculations, we're probably going to make it default, so we don't have to worry about that again. So just going to repeat that. Five, document settings, you see now because I made it default, it's, it's scientific. So choose the right one, scientific, and then make it default. And it'll ask if it's OK, and press OK. Right. What we're going to do now is do those calculations. So we want a number, go to the number menu. There's this one here. Okay, and we're going to do 6.54. Now, don't write down times 10 to the 8. For standard form, you need to use this button here. This means times 10, the EE. -E. I know it seems a bit strange. It comes up as E, and then write in the number 8. All right, so this is how the calculator recognizes standard form. It says 6.54 times 10 to the 8 times 2.32, 2.32, again, standard form, so e to the minus 5. So we need to press this minus 1, and then 5. And then all we need to do is press Enter, and we see we now have the answer, 1.51728 e to the 4. So going back to my script here, there's a screenshot of the steps I just did. This is the calculations. We've got 1.51728 e to the 4. Now the common mistake is to write that as e to the 4, but you need to convert it back into the mathematical notation, which is times 10 to the 4. That's what the e4 means. Change it back to times 10 
to the power of 4. Answer said to three significant figures, so that's the first, second, third. Draw a little line there. That 7 will make that 1 a 2. So the correct answer in standard form will, to three significant figures will be 1.52 times 10 to the 4. Part 2. We have to do A divided by B, so it's 654 million, divided by 0 0.0000232. Write them in standard form. OK. And then go to our GDC. Right, so we'll just write them in our standard form again. So it's 6.54. Don't forget standard form. Don't try to write times 10. E to the 8. Now divided is that button. Well, on the calculator it appears as a line, like it's like a division. 2.32 E to the minus 5. Enter. OK, so we've got 2.818 times 10 to the 13, so resume, go back to our sheet, there's a screenshot, write down the answer, 2.818965 times 10 to the 13, don't write e to the 13 on your exam script, put a line in here because it's 1, 2, 3 significant figures, that 8 will make that 1 or 2, so the correct answer is 2.82 times 10 to the 13 to 3 significant figures in standard form. Right, B divided by A is 0 0.0000232 divided by 6, 654 million. Writing each in standard form, so that's 2.32 times 10 to the minus 5 divided by 6.54 times 10 to the 8. Going to my GDC. So this time we're going to write in 2.32, sorry, just try again, 2.32, E, don't forget, don't write times 10, to the minus 5, divided by 6.54, E to the 8, press enter, and then we get that, that number there, which is 3.54, Zero four zero zero six e times ten to the minus fourteen. So going back to our exam our script, there's a screenshot. So writing down the full calculator value three point five four four zero zero six times ten to the minus fourteen. Do not write e. One mistake is to do that. Uh, three significant figures: first, second, third. A line there. That seven makes a four a five. So the final answer will be 3.55 times 10 to the minus 14 to 3 significant figures. And one final thing, maybe what we should do now is go back to our calculator, press the home screen, which is on, OK, and go to number 5, and go to the document settings, number 2, and then change the back to normal, and then make default, and press OK. OK, so this has been a video to show you how to do calcul uh, calculations in standard form on your TI Nuspar calculator.